Hey guys, it's GameSync25 here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick Sony Vegas tutorial on how I did this little color change effect in my Counting Stars edit. Uh, right once it shoots, you'll see that the color changes from uh, color to color, and I'm also going to be showing you how I did it on just the camo. So it was right here. As you can see, whenever that blue burst comes out, the camo color changes. Uh, play that back again. I changed from like blue to purple to this color to whatever else. Um, so basically, you want to go ahead and import your clip like I already did. Uh, you can remove the audio uh, by removing the audio. You just tap on the audio, press U, and it's separated so you can delete it without deleting the clip and I'm just gonna find the spot he shoots here so he shoots right there I'm gonna split the clip and uh, right around whenever they reload somewhere like there you want to go ahead and split the clip let's say you wanna end the clip right here just split it but what you're gonna wanna do is add Twixter to it I'll just add the default so it's not any different for you guys. And I will go ahead and change my speed to 0.1. I would recommend doing it on 0.1 to 0.5. Uh, no higher, otherwise it'll move too much. Uh, whenever you're doing the camo, but right now I'm just doing the regular color change. And for that, you want to go to color corrector secondary. Uh, grab the default, drag it on, uh, click this little an, uh, animation button right here, and you'll see all of this pop up. Doesn't matter. Uh, you can start the rotation hue as normal or from like right here. But I'll just start it from here, and then I will drag the little marker here all the way to the end, and drag this all the way up to 360 degrees. So then if I ran preview this, uh, you can see that it's already changing colors. See, uh, you get that little effect. Let me try to slow, slow this down a little bit. Oh, that didn't do anything. I messed up, huh? But anyways, you get this cool little maybe rainbow effect. And now I'm going to show you guys how to do that on just the camo. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my color corrector. But you want to keep your Twixter on. And you want to duplicate the layer. You can just copy and paste to a new layer. Or you can uh, insert video track, hold down control, and move it up like I like to do. And you just basically want to go to your event pan crop clicked mask in the bottom left hand corner here and I'm gonna zoom in and you just want to grab your anchor creation tool and go around the camo you don't need to get the whole sniper just the uh, camo so in this case it's the red and black but not the scope if you get the scope it may mess up I don't know I haven't tested it with the scope very much but so, as you can see, it's not very neat, but that doesn't matter. So now you're going to want to go to Feather Type, change that to both, and Feather Percent, change that to 5. So now if we mute this track, you can see that all you get is that little thing. That's just to show you. And uh, now you're going to want to drag your Color Corrector Secondary Default onto your masked clip your second one and basically just do the same thing the animation button go to the end or maybe right here you know wherever you want it to end and move it all the way up to 360 or however far you want it to go so let's ram preview this okay and it's ram previewed so let's go ahead and play it play it again and again so yeah, you get that cool little neat effect, and um, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.